Hello again. Here we have an interesting little topic, dictionary comprehensions. Just like you can make list comprehensions, you can also make dictionary comprehensions. You'll see it's a very similar process. For example, let's look at our main where we make squares of 0 through 4, and then we're printing the result and then ending it into spaces. So here is the result. A sequence comes in, 0 through 4. Then we are for looping through that sequence just like a dictionary, I mean, just like a list comprehension. And every time the n is going to be the string of the n, colon, and then the n squared for the value, key value, key value. And that's how we got string value like that. Next, we have some people, four people, four instruments four genders, well, actually two genders, but a list of four. Now we're going to make dict of these three sequences. We can take in any number of sequences. And what we're going to do is zip them together. Now remember that that's going to give us a list of tuples. And the first tuple will be Lorena, guitar, woman, and then Isabel, Salterio, woman, etc. So the first tuple comes out as data. And then the first item in that data becomes the key and the rest become the value. So the first one was Lorena, and then the value will be guitar and woman. And then we're going to print it up. When we print it, we do the new line join of the sorted band, and that'll sort by the keys, which are the names. And then we're going to shove them to the right in a field of 10, the name, the key, and then we'll print out the tuple. And there we see them. Okay, that's a list comprehension. You want to give it a little try so that it is burned into your memory and handy in your bag of tricks. I'll see you when you're done.